Okay, so let's do an example of the disk method, using the disk method. So here's what we have. We want to find the volume of, of uh, the solid of revolution, right? So we want to find the volume of a solid of revolution bounded by this region. So it's bounded by this function, bounded by this line, x equals 1 to x equals 3, this line as well. And then we're going to rotate this region about the x-axis. So, again, you don't need to sketch the graph of this because you know that it's going to be above the, the x-axis, so it's going to be bounded above by this function. It's going to be bounded on the left by this line, bounded on the right of this line. Of course, it's also bounded by the x-axis. So we've got a region defined pretty well here. Okay. So all we have to do is to use the disk method is use the formula. So a to b of pi times f of x squared dx. That's it, right? So now all we do is fill in the information. So it's going to be pi. I pulled the pi out because it's just a constant. And it's going to go from negative 1 to 3. And it's going to be what? It's going to be x minus 1 squared plus 1 dx. Oh, forgot. Squared. <clears throat> okay. So now, if I square this, what are you going to get? Well, if we FOIL this, right, if we just FOIL this, what are we going to get? We're going to get That's what we're going to get. And so if we hold on a second, this doesn't look right. Let me just see. Um, oh, yes, yes it is. Yes it is. So this is what we get. And so now we're going to integrate. Okay. I, again, I would not, um, try to expand this out. So let's integrate this the way it is. Okay. And this becomes pi times. And so we're going to integrate the first piece. Which is just going to be, again, you could do a u substitution here too if you want. Um, but this is going to be one-fifth. In fact, the u substitution wouldn't be a bad idea to use a u substitution here and then put the u substitution back or x back when you're done, or change the limits of integration, okay? But I'll, I'll leave that up to you to do. So you get x minus 1 to the fifth plus 2 thirds x minus 1 to the third plus x 
from negative one to three. Okay, and now at this point, all we have to do is evaluate this at negative one and then evaluate it at negative three and then subtract the two, or excuse me, evaluate at negative three and then evaluate, uh, okay, let me say that again. We're gonna evaluate it at three, so we'll plug in three for x and then we're gonna evaluate it at negative one and then we're gonna subtract those two, right? The fundamental theorem of calculus. So now all we're going to do is if you do that, again, just make sure you take your time. It's easy to make sign errors and such. You should get 412 pi over 15 cubic units. Okay. And again, I would write this as a mixed number. So this would be what? This would be 2... Okay, so that's what I would get, okay? And that's it. So let's do another example. We'll do one when you come back.